Hello, my name is uh, Peter Cassidy, and I'm uh, here to give a little background information about the MES program, the Masters in Educational Studies, through the University of Alberta and the Faculty of Education. I graduated from the program a few years ago, and I wanted to talk about uh, how I did the research uh, and why I went into that program in particular and where it has led me. Um, so I was a PYP uh, teacher here in Tokyo at Canadian International School Tokyo and I knew that I wanted to take on some more leadership uh, roles in my school and I realized to, to do this, to be able to uh, be appointed to certain positions, um, not only my experience with the school, but you also needed to have uh, the educational background. So I found the MES program, the Masters of Educational Studies, and what I liked about it was the focus on leadership as well as educational research. Um, another aspect of the program that was very important for, for me and my context, uh, we're a PYP school, and upon graduation with the uh, Masters in Education, uh, the M MES, uh, Masters in Educational Studies, um, you also will receive an advanced uh, certificate fr from the IB. Uh, you have to do a little bit of extra with that uh, in your research, but it, uh, it fits nicely uh, with what you're going to have to do because during the uh, research component, and the uh, the research uh, assignment that you end up uh, submitting as your uh, final project, um, it it should uh, if you're in a PYP school have a PYP stance. So um, the program uh, is really good. Uh, the the face to face component was my was my favorite part of the program, getting together uh, summer A and then summer B, two summers, back-to-back -back summers, with uh, online uh, courses in between. But it was connecting with the uh, people in my cohort, the people around the world who um, uh, were also uh, looking to advance their their uh, careers and uh, have more opportunity for leadership roles in their school. I, you learn a lot from the different people and uh, that aspect of the course is uh, is probably the best. It's the collaborative nature, the collaborative practices that are in place and how the how the different um, you know components of each course is set up it is definitely collaborative and you're working with uh, people as well as your professors. So excellent uh, aspect of the program is the collaborative uh, practice. Most challenging, I think, is the, the research project. Um, you will, you end up becoming a researcher and, you know, all teachers by the nature of their job are uh, researchers, we're always trying to find data about our students so we can improve our practice, uh, improve our assessment. Um, you know, obviously, when you end up doing the research uh, assignment, you you actually do conduct a research uh, uh, project, and you uh, you get data. You've got to analyze the data. You've got to write it up. But by the by the end of the course, you know how to do this, and it, it just becomes a, a very seamless part of who you are as an educator. Coming out of the program, I am now always considering how to write things up from a, a researcher standpoint. Program is excellent, and uh, it has led me to uh, be become the vice principal and PYP coordinator at my school. So that um you know that course you know it taught me a lot of skills to to help me in these roles but it's also the um the credential on your resume that will allow you to maybe apply for certain positions that come open in your school i 
I uh, hope to see people at the um, information sessions in November because the MES program is now going to be offering uh, summer face-to-face uh, -face, um, courses at uh, Tamagawa Gakuen here in Tokyo. So you don't have to travel all the way to Canada. However, if uh, you know, you'd like to go to Canada, the University of Alberta and uh, you know, the program there is excellent. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen, and I hope to see you in the in information session. Thank you.